I'm Eric Novak, and this here beside me is the all new 2018 Hyundai Kona, their first ever B platform or basically compact utility crossover SUV pick your title. It's something that Hyundai has had to get themselves into the market because as you know, North Americans are rapidly moving their preferences away from sedans and into this category of vehicle. Without something in the small compact size, there, there was a deficit in the lineup. So they recently launched this Hyundai Kona and it's the feature of my latest review. As automakers are continuing to produce more crossover utility uh, versions and models, they're getting into fragmenting that whole segment into bite-sized pieces, even smaller. And as such, it's getting easier to figure out with respect to each new vehicle that comes out, really who they're targeting. And with the Kona, I think it's pretty clear that this is a vehicle that is uh, really targeting the uh, uh, millennial set, the uh, urban crowd, uh, younger, where they don't necessarily need a lot of space. It's not where families are involved. It could even be to those who are downsizing. But a lot of the look and design uh, lends to that credence as well. Um, this uh, Kona is designed with a pretty uh, modern uh, position on the exterior design. Uh, some of the things you'll see when you're looking at options for the Kona, they have a, a wide color palette of exterior uh, colors available. Some more vivid things you wouldn't traditionally see uh, with uh, uh, automobile colors. It's really trying to appeal to what really is a younger demographic. Uh, even the futurist, you can get them two-tone roofs. You see that on the Toyota CHR as well. It's really targeting someone different. You've got little things here. Uh, Hyundai makes this thing about this, uh, what they call a protective body armor. Uh, well, really it's, it's, plastic, but they're calling it body armor. It's a distinctive contrast in the overall design. Um, the front grille is a new sort of pattern as well. It's something that uh, Hyundai has been introducing, more of this sort of uh, uh, web-based uh, look and approach. I like it better than the old traditional things, but it overall has a, a look and feel, uh, sort of a, a taut, higher, kind of athletic stance. This really is a car, or, or sorry, a crossover, I should say, that's targeting the younger set. The interior of the new Kona, when viewed against the exterior design, is comparatively more sleek and simple overall. Colored accent trim highlights the overall functional design and layout of interior controls that Hyundai is known for. The center stack is effectively arranged with easy-to-reach tactile interfaces. It's simple but effective. The driver instrument cluster offers clear analog readouts as well as a center information screen. Now, it's not flashy, but it's not lacking either. Below the center stack, the gear selector is easy to reach and use, and it's here that you'll find the proper placement of heated seated controls as well as a drive mode selector. A heads-up display is available on the top and ultimate trim, which is a feature not often seen in this size and classification of vehicle. A floating touchscreen sits atop the center stack and controls audio and navigation display, plus other advanced infotainment features, which includes Android Auto and Apple CarPlay capability. There's room to haul stuff around in the Kona with 19.2 cubic feet of cargo space in the rear. During my week of driving it, I had to stop once for a couple of grocery items and another time to fill enough items up for a couple of grocery bins and the rear cargo room worked just fine in both instances. Now, if you need more space, put the second row seats down and 45.8 cubic feet becomes available. Passenger volume in the Kona is set at 94.1 cubic feet. If you sit up front, you'll have 41 and a half inches of legroom to stretch out in, while those in the second row have 34.6 inches, which would be tight for taller adults, but fine for kids. The drive experience of the 2018 Kona isn't one that will set your pulses running, but it offers more than enough pep to make the daily commute enjoyable. A 2-liter 4-cylinder naturally aspirated engine offering 147 horsepower and 132 pound-feet of torque is the base offering, while upper trim levels receive a turbocharged 1.6-liter 4-cylinder engine that puts out 175 horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque. 
a six-speed automatic transmission is paired to the two-liter base engine, while a seven-speed EcoShift dual-clutch transmission is matted to the 1.6-liter turbo. Now, my tester came equipped with the base two-liter engine, and while I wasn't overwhelmed by it, it proved to be generally reliable. Combined fuel economy ratings for the two-liter engine are 7.8 liters per 100 kilometers or 30 US miles per gallon, while the 1.6-liter turbo is rated at 8.6 liters per 100 kilometers or 27.4 US MPG. So if you're gonna create a new product, it's really important to understand who your target market is for that product. And with the Hyundai Kona, I believe the product planners and overall designers have done a pretty good job at understanding that this is a vehicle for millennials, for urban dwellers, for those with uh, small vehicle needs, downsizers, and overall with a combination of some vivid colors, the overall exterior design, uh, technology inside, even the fact that you're gonna have a, a battery electric powertrain coming soon with a 250 mile, almost 400 kilometer range. This is overall, a really solid package for the market that I really believe they're targeting. Um, if you're looking for the, a vehicle of this type, and goodness knows there's a lot of choice to come from now, I think it's a good idea to check this out because it's offering a good value proposition as well. And overall, you know what? I had fun driving it. But that's it for this review. I'm Eric Novak. Thanks for watching. There's plenty of ways for you to keep connected with me, so check out some of my social media links, suggested videos, and you know I'd really love it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel.